Alright, so by the end of this video, you're going to learn the basics of Discord server permissions, where you're going to learn the connections between roles, channels, and categories. And as well, by the end, you're going to have an understanding on how to create some amazing stuff within your Discord server. For example, creating a moderator role based on the powers or permissions that you want to give to your moderators, or creating a VIP channel where only VIP members can have access to. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go into deep details for every single permissions within Discord server. I'll create a separate video on that. But aside from that, let's get started. So let's start with one of the most important permission settings within your Discord server, which is roles permission settings. So if you head over to your Discord server settings here, then go to roles. I don't have any roles, so I'll just create one. And I'm going to create two extra just for great examples. So for the first one, I'm going to call members. The second one, I'm going to call VIP. And then the third one, I'm going to call it admin or moderators. So I have created three different roles. Let's start with the members. If you click on members and then you go to the permissions, you have a bunch of settings you can play around with. You can read into the details. If you want to give a specific permission to a specific role, you can obviously do that. So normally I'm guessing, you know, members role don't really need any permission. So I'll leave it as it is. And then I'm going to go to the VIP and let's just say maybe they have, you know, the power to share embed links, to attach file, to add reactions, use external emojis. And then moderators, they have the power to, let's say, ban members, kick members, manage the nickname if someone has, you know, an appropriate nickname or invite link in their name. So, you, you know, you give them these permissions and then by the end, you click save and yeah, there you go. You can obviously go around other, um, you know, options here if you want, but that's one of the basic ideal example on how you can play with settings within the roles permission. So the next permission settings is the channels permission settings. This usually has to do with the roles permission settings. So what we have recently set up will usually be connected with the channels permission settings. So for this example, I'm going to create two extra channels where the first one is announcement and the other one is VIP. Now, just going to grab this and put it up here. So what I want to do here is I want to create a permission for our members where only members with the members role can see the announcement channel, but they can't really send any text. You usually have seen a lot of servers having this option. So for that, you go to the settings here for the channel, and then you go to permissions. Now you go to the add role and you select members. So what we're going to do here is we're going to enable the view channels option, scroll a bit down and then disable the send message option. Now this is not done yet because you go a bit up, you go to everyone and then you go to view channel and then you disable it for everyone. Now you save the changes. Now normally what a normal member is seeing here is they're able to see any announcements that you make but they can't really send a text. So that's how people make an announcement channel. Now, another example here is, let's say you want the members with the members role to have access to your channels. Let's say one example is general chat. You don't want any unverified members to send a text. So for that, you can just go to the settings. Again, the same thing, you go to the members and select the role for the everyone, just disable it. And then for the members, just, you know, view channels enabled and send messages enabled. You save and there you go. Now only members with the members role actually have the ability to send messages in the general chat. Now, one last example is we're going to create a channel where only members with the VIP role will have the access to send messages and see messages in the VIP channel. So for that, you go to the VIP channel and then you go to the settings, permissions, add the VIP role and the members role here. And you're going to understand this why. So for the everyone, you disable the view channel. Members, you disable the view channel. Now with this, members with the members role normally don't have access to the VIP channel. But instead, you go to the VIP role here, you enable the view channel. And then obviously, you can go for the extra options that you want to add. And then you save changes. 
So the, with this option, now members with the VIP roles only can have access to that, you know, specific VIP channel. And if you want to have a look, you can just go to server settings and then roles and click on VIP and then you can just go at the bottom down here view server as role and if you have a look VIP members only have access to the VIP role if you go back to the members role if you click members as well and remove the VIP so in you know they the members have the access to view the announcement channel but not text but they have the access to send a message in the you know general chat And the last permission that we're going to talk about is the category permission. So let's say you want to create a category, a complete category for the moderator sections only, which will have moderator channels and etc. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a category called mods. And then if you right click on this category, go to edit category, go to permissions. So to make that kind of settings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the view channels for everyone, add a moderator role and then view channels enabled and send messages enabled just in case. So what's happening now is once you save changes and you create a new channel, let's say mods chat, and then you press enter. Now, if you click on the edit channel settings, go to permission by default, those settings already applies to, you know, the new channel. So no matter whatever channel you make a VC channel or a text channel, those settings will automatically be applied to this category. Now, if you click on the announcement settings here you know by default that's a normal default option which was already set from before so what we're going to do instead which is another useful thing for the category section if you click on the general settings go to permissions there's a sync now button here and if you see here before what's happening is that members do have the option to view channels and they also have the option to send messages but if you click on the sync now you accept the sync permissions now what's happening is the send messages is disable because that's what we selected in the category permission and if you don't want that you know option to be set up for the vip you can keep it as it is but if you want that settings to be you know set up on the vip channel as well or any channel whatever you want you just click on the sync now sync permissions and there you go all of the settings are back to the default as it was in the categories permission. So that is basically all for the server permission settings. You can create tons of things. You just have to play around with the permissions. You know, just create a separate channel, separate server channels, roles, and just play around with these settings. You're going to create some amazing stuff. I hope this video was helpful, especially for those users who are new to Discord. That's all for today. If you have any questions, if you need any help, join my Discord server. I'll link it in the description below. And yeah, peace out.